Destiny and his friends are abusing and manipulating mentally ill people. It feels like his motive is to silence victims. I replied to Destiny in September of 2021. Destiny made a public post about the Oh the no. For answers on how to prevent it, you will Megan, why did she do this? <laughs> the manifesto Destiny. Destiny and his friends are abusing and manipulating mentally ill people. It feels like his motive is to silence victims. I replied to Destiny in September 2021. Destiny made a public post about the Lightning Frail article framing me as an abuser. I brought in with proof of my innocence and police evidence of crimes being committed at Razor ATX house that he hid and is now covering up. So to be clear, I tried to communicate with this person about shit and I didn't get fucking anything. I got like, fuck, am I still friends with her? Fuck, I don't remember her name on Discord. I could go back and look through our logs. Um, I try, this is what I tried to explain with like the car thing was just like one example. I got all sorts of information from her and I didn't feel comfortable like going public with like anything because I had no fucking idea what was real. This was way back when I was in Sweden. Um, but um, yeah, I, I super like did not get anything like that I felt comfortable bringing to the public eye. Um, and eventually our conversation, who is this? Uh, she messaged me a long time ago saying, I've got proof that Clint 171 or whatever, the trailer guy is an abuser. Um, now she's dating the, um, wait, hold on. What would happen if you just ignore this? Oh, nothing. These people are like, find a nicer way to say irrelevant, but there's, they're just like small people. It's just all part of this like really weird offshoot of the claw and Austin crew. Um, they bait. Okay. This game feels like a m game of destiny. Adriana preying on the confusion, terror and weakest moments of the mentally ill. They basically want to mentally entrap your persona to a point where they can control you or make you harm yourself. Two years later, after Byron was pushed to a point of death, where's the justice? What is destiny's angle to be able to manipulate and control the victim's narrative for himself? The girl recorded the now edited audio clip Destiny published with someone I was trying to determine trust and friendship for during that time. She was a friend who had been talking to me and Claude regularly, offering help to try and resolve the relentless harassment from Clint and his friends. During the recorded audio, you don't hear her side because she was being disrespectful and weird. Oi, are you live? Yeah, did you just wake up? Uh, <clears throat> no, what? Because you sound like it. Dude, I got news for you. What's up? Oh, there's a nuke dropped on you. Yeah, we're already reading it. Nobody has a nuke drop on no, you. No, we're already reading it. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get to my fucking computer. Well, I don't know if I'm going to read it. This is a huge post. No, no, start from the beginning. I didn't, I didn't open it yet. Oh, it's just, it's the Megan girl. The, like, yeah, yeah, but girl. read it, read it. Just pretend no, no, I'm to not be gonna, I'm not going to, I'm not going to read this whole thing because most of this is going to be boring. What the fuck, bro? It's schizo what ramblings. Most of it is boring schizo ramblings. I know, I know, but I just want to see how creative Claw is because Claw wrote it, right? I, I don't know. This girl's really crazy, too. They both could have contributed to it. I, come on, bro. I, I can't read right now. Uh, you got to read it. My eyes hurt. Uh, okay. Okay, hang on. Let me switch the microphone. Okay, how much have you read so far? Like three paragraphs no 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 start from the beginning man oh god it's so boring okay ready yeah <clears throat> meg seventh statement destiny and his friend her voice though it make her voice i don't know her voice okay Just do a girl voice you want me to do you want me to do her voice okay ready yeah ah stop hitting me ah no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> do what the fuck? destiny and his friends are abusing and manipulating mentally ill people it feels like his motive is to silence victims. I replied to Destiny in September of 2021. Destiny made a public post about the Livestream of Fails article framing me as an abuser. I provided him with proof of my innocence and police evidence of crimes being committed at Razor ATX's house that he hid and is now covering up. So to be clear, I'm not hiding anything. She just she brought to me a ton of different documents. Um, uh, but it was like there was nothing there that I could like truly like. Do you know what do you know what her name is on Discord real quick? Uh, Megan. Oh, Jesus Christ, not that Megan. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on, give me a different one. Wait, can you, like, link me your shit? Oh, I have her blocked, so I don't know. I just made up a name. Jesus, I just about lost my mind. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. Try, try and sell it when you when you read it, like like it's real. Like, like emphasize the parts where it's like, and he's an abuser. 
No. Shut up. Okay. This feels like um, this feels like a game of Destiny. Adriana praying on the confusion, terror, and weakest moments of the mentally ill. They basically want to mentally entrap your persona to a point where they can control you or make you harm yourself. Two years later, after Byron was pushed to a point of death, where is the justice? What is Destiny's angle to be able to manipulate and control a victim's narrative for himself? The girl that recorded the now edited audio clip Destiny published with someone I was trying to determine trust and friendship for during that time. She was a friend who had been talking to me and Claw regularly, offering help to try and resolve the relentless harassment from Clinton's friends. During the recorded audio, you don't you don't hear her side because she was being disrespectful and weird. I wanted her to respect us enough to understand at that point she needed to leave the call. I was telling her to hang up the call, not telling Claw to, because I wasn't angry at him. I was angry at how she was acting. This is exactly like how originally Adriana Lee was more mad at Novaru for shit talking instead of crazy slick. I became uncomfortable, confused, angry, and started panicking after she repeatedly refused to hang up the call. It is extremely traumatic having anyone witness audio or visual my mental breakdowns after being framed as an abuser and mocked by livestream fails, the public. I was already paranoid that she was recording or using information to mock us. I was entering a state of extreme anxiety that I needed my boyfriend back to help me through. <laughs> at, this, <laughs> at this point, I became inconsolable and started to lash out screaming trying to communicate my pain to claw i regress into a very traumatic state i became inconsolable and began to harm myself claw, that was that was actually just her hitting herself claw never beat or abused me i was in a state of psychosis harming myself and he was pushed to a breaking point himself claw was helping me work through my traumatic episodes by beating her i can't know he was sometimes you just got to smack the devil out of him you know no i don't know don't make jokes like that why did you get so quiet? God damn it. Hold on. I'll make whatever the fuck jokes I want, you fucking bot. Are you not trying to come back to Twitch? All right, go. go. Hold on. Claw wrote this or her? He's like editing. <laughs> Fortune Claw has been dealing with, has been regularly dealing with this abusive behavior from my part. I have a history of treatment for mental illness since childhood. This is where a free use agreement has allowed him to understand and help me work through abusive behaviors. In my past relationships, I've never had an understanding of consent slash free use. He needs to be able to raise up his voice, ground me in reality, and restrain me in a safe way when I'm harming myself. I came into this relationship suicidal and basically feral at a point of death. I feel like I'd never be able to connect in an honest way with people again. Claw fought to save me and refused to see another person left in a state of psychosis from being denied understanding and truth. I... On July 17th, Clint grabbed me and choked me in an aggressive way, which the police informed me should be phrased as strangulation in the context of the now closed investigation. Clint has a history of going too far in fights. Uh, wait, are you friends with that Megan girl on? No, I have, I've I've had her blocked for seven months because I heard a bunch of crazy shit about her. Can you like type the name and ID to me just so I can try to bring up my logs with her? Why is it so important? You, you guys never spoke. Yeah, we spoke a lot. She messaged me um, seven or eight months ago when I was in Sweden, and she tried to dump a whole bunch of shit to me. That's how I know she's crazy. It's because she tried mm. to dump a whole bunch of shit to me saying that Claw or Clint was an abuser. And I didn't like Clint at the time, and she was, I was like, okay, yeah, sure, fuck it. I'll expose this guy if he's like an asshole. Why not? Um, but the more she told me and the more questions I asked, I was like, hold on. It kind of seems like both of you are fucking insane right now. Like, I'm not getting that this is like just a him thing. Um, yeah, I've I've heard them talk about the plans. Uh, I've heard from other people that they they do things like to block themselves from being banned. They'll be like, "Do you want me to kill myself?" And he, Claw even did it on stream. But like, this is like a game plan to them. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think she's being manipulated by Claw. I think that's for sure. Uh, maybe I would. I based on my limited experience, with that, I would say she's incredibly manipulative. So yeah. So she could be doing it too. Okay. Right click message. This isn't really about you, though, is it? Well, yeah, because now she's wrote me into it, calling me like an abuser and shit. But she's talking about Clint right now. Like, well, I guess they're done their hit piece on you. All right, go on. Yeah, wait, hold on. Now I'm looking at, like, the shit she sent me. I can't believe you actually knew her, like, face to face and shit. Ugh. Like, she sent me, like, one of these documents is, like, a court dismissal. And I don't even know what the fuck, like, now comes the state of Texas, by and through, blah, 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 allowing the probable cause. <clears throat> it was the court to dismiss the case for the following reasons. 
like I don't I, like she would just send me a whole bunch of legal shit and then give me a story and then expect like the stuff that she'd send me to um yeah I don't know dude all of this was like super fucking weird like that here's this she's saying like Clint went on my old Snapchat and started sending nudes out to people but she had no way of proving that it was Clint or if it was just her doing it like I have no idea I I tried do the all of these conversations were so fucking weird yeah, no, I've met her in person. She's like a known liar. Like, there's six people there, and they all, they, even her friends said, like, these people lie a lot. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm in this hit piece. Um, hold on. This is, these are like messages that she was sending. Um, can someone help me please? I got hit by a car at a stoplight and Clint is sleeping and I don't know what to do. The guy left the scene. I'm having a bad panic attack. I called the police and they told me to come over to them to file a report. I didn't get a picture of the guy's car. I'm freaking out. Clint loved this car. I was turning left and I think he ran a red light and then maybe he fled the scene. I don't know what to do. Wait, what? So yeah, I know. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, this is in your private DMs? Yeah, she was like, just sending me like, a ton of shit about this. <laughs> Clint lied about having cancer. Clint is currently lying about choking me. Clint would lie about all this stuff. He lies to his mom. I, yeah, I don't know. Jesus Christ. Cancer? Did he, have can <laughs> did he say he had cancer? I have no idea. What the fuck is going on? The schizo Avengers are here. True. Shut up. Fuck, I'm trying to get more. This car story was just so funny, dude. It was like the funniest. You met her in person? No, never. Or if I have, I don't remember. Like, I might have seen her like a group of people a long time ago, but. Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Let me just read a little bit. Um, This is other messages she has. So, do you have... Any pictures of the car, by the way, after the hit and run? And she said, yeah, it should be in there. You can see all the files in the Google Drive link. Oh, she sent me like a Google Drive with some shit. Um, and then she's like, I realize I need to write my own detailed account, blah, 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 blah. And then I said, okay, and then I say this. Hmm, wait, just in the car story, if the car fled the scene, how did you get pictures of the car afterwards? And she said, it was at the garage at the police station. I went there from going to my work. I went in and filed. And when I came out to the garage, the other dude was walking in. So I found his car in the garage and I took that picture. I guess I need to make that part clear. He claimed that he had a kid in the car and that he needed to go home. I don't know, it was sus. And then I, we never followed up with the insurance. And then I was like, yeah, I do. There were like so many weird, that was just, the, that's just like one example of like so many weird things. She did. But anyway, I stopped like basically responding to this person. I was like, I can't, this just seems No, like no, weird. keep going. That stuff's better than the hit piece. Well, I, it, like, it's just like schizo ramblings. About what? My friend was talking about my old snap. I don't have access to the two old Snapchats. I thought he deleted them because people who had them added said they were gone. I don't know if you could deactivate and reactivate them. Like I still don't have my two business emails or my Twitch account. I'm assuming the detective that I hired will let me know Tuesday what the next step is. Clint likes to play mind games and right now he doesn't like that he lost control of me and doesn't know what I'm going to do or who I'm going to tell. So I wouldn't be surprised if he went into Snapchat to download nudes or something because he knows if anything like that got leaked, it would fuck me up mentally. I know that sounds stupid because I post lingerie pics. It, it's just really intimate and personal thing to me. So I don't know, but him knowing it wouldn't surprise me if he opened the snap back. I don't know, Jesus. I'm pretty sure he tried to reach out to somebody's husband of, of like an ex of his. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there's like so much weird shit in here, and I like could, and I had to like ask so many questions because I couldn't like even make sense of like half of it. But yeah, I don't know, dude. All right, I, yeah, keep going. I'm not in it at all, right? Yeah, I don't know. Why was she dumping all this on you? I don't know why she reached out to me. I have no idea, but. I'm, I'm not going to read all this. It's just going to be schizo ramblings. 
The truth is the recording me is my breaking point. I don't care. Breaking point was reached. For the context of our relationship since June of 2020, I have asked the few women that I've been in a relationship with to be willing to agree to a complete free use agreement. All of them have included Megan. If they want to deny this, I do have the written acknowledgement. Of, what does that mean? I feel like I have to live my life this way of my own protection, but also for their protection as well. <laughs> we use safe words in everyday arguments as well as sexual engagements. This needed to happen because in 2020, Destiny was involved in uncovering the truth behind a malicious frame job on me and defended me despite the girl involved being a part of his harem. In fact, almost <laughs> every one of the girls that has gone through Destiny's trail of tears was my friend first. Oh, I remember this. Claw was on the verge. Did you ever hear about this? No. Claw was on the verge of being destroyed. Okay. Another person was trying to end his career. And Austin came to me with questions about it. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, Claw got accused of all this shit. And then he started shipping me logs over. And I had just noticed at the time that Discord had made a sneaky update to where when you edit a message, if you hover over the edit time, you can see when the message was edited. And I was able to go back through Claw's laws and logs and show, look at this. Every message that this person is sending, she's actually edited them like seven months later in order to like make things look way worse than they actually were. And I think I figured that out and I saved Claw's ass on that. I remember that. Um, that was a big meme. What the, why would you save him? Well, because Austin and him came to me asking like, well, what do we do? And I was just looking at the evidence. I don't know. I usually just look at shit and I analyze stuff. That's all I do. I don't give a fuck about these people, but it's interesting shit. Because he was well, claiming that- fucking the, loser. That guy's a loser. True. It saddened me that Destiny was agreeing to share this clip that was being passed around with malicious intent by people like partner streamer Emmy OK, who directly threatened to leak it the day before and as Adriana's best friend. Damn, people really don't like Emmy. I don't know what she's done, but Jesus. <laughs> um. No, I asked her when the drama was happening. I was like, just between us, Emya, did you blackmail Claw? And she's like, no, he's fucking delusional. Wait, out of the kindness <laughs> of my heart, I'm leaving the details of the situation, but suffice it to say that Megan was doing a lot worse things than throwing cardboard at me. She was mentally ill and I didn't care because I loved her and I just wanted her to get better and she wanted the same for me. I had written a 26 song album in February and was starting to finally get a community together again. And within a day of dating Megan, I was blacklisted from almost all of Clint associated events. A few days before I got in band, I tried to kill myself. I think it was the only person there for me. These people are insane. That screaming that I do is me when I'm in drill sergeant mode. I'm clearly channeling my anger issues through the taming of the shrew. But we had had we have had conversations about it. And she seems to enjoy it. If anything, our communication has only gotten better as we are able to fully express the full range of emotions with each other as long as it's consensual. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yeah, this guy. These people are actually insane. The crying she was doing is because of the girl recording, not hanging up, and any hitting you hear is unequivocally Megan hitting herself. And it's true, she was hitting herself. And at one point what? I did have to restrain her, but also she was saying, get off me when I wasn't even touching her. I've never- Wait, wait, explain it. Explain how do you hit yourself? What I do you don't know, dude. No, what do you think they mean? She was having a cetraline withdrawal, and that's why she was seemingly normal <laughs> some days and sobbing uncontrollably about why Taylor Swift will never love her the way she loves Taylor Swift. What? Bro, are you sure you got the right twit longer? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Why is Taylor Swift in the lore now? Please double check your sources. This is my plea to the Twitch community as a whole and to the livestream fellows of the community. For what it's worth, Crazy Slick is also 100% innocent too, and Adriana owes him a very public apology. <laughs> Don't skip. I skip. Uh, this is dumb. Don't skip the Destiny parts. It's priceless. Destiny's, okay, again, Destiny usually does have the right idea when it comes to almost every decision he makes. It just hurts me a lot that he would constantly throw me under the bus with accusations about how I'm not a good person behind the scenes, despite always being there for the dozen friends that we have in common. Destiny's whole orbit came from my show and my community, and it hurts <laughs> that people are so afraid to speak against him, even in his own inner circle, that they are denying their own reality. The one weak link uh, Destiny has seems to be me. I don't know if he was just using my show as a way to print women or if he could just harass women with lies and slander to keep them away from me like he did with Luna. <laughs> okay, that's not, let's chill out there. So if anyone, um, so if this is the worst thing that he has had on me and he doesn't have dozen other creepy DMs for women or anyone else showing up about it like he had with Bob Seven or Crazy Slick, then I'm not really sure what to say at this point other than I don't have actual friends with Destiny. Get him off. My... Okay, it's just him schizo rambling. Yeah. They, 
just I knew I shouldn't have debunked myself. They took me out the hit piece. Oh no. I told you didn't get you, any clout I, off it. I knew I should have just stayed with the groomer allegation. Fuck, man. They deleted it to look clean. Rip. I bet they wrote so much on me. Way to go. What? Wow. You okay. fucked up, dude. This could have been your end to some juicy drama. And now you this fucked it all up. Was, they were my boat, man. <clears throat> okay. Can I go back to my vouch debate? Oh, what, is that right now? Um, oh, I was just watching one. Then I'm going to finish some work. And then tomorrow. I okay, share screen, game. bro. What the fuck? I can't I share see. screen, dude. It's complicated because it's I'm talking to you on another right. computer. I can't share the other screen. Okay, but all right. Teach me at least how to type in DGG chat. Like, how do I go there? You've already got an account there. Why are you asking me? Why are you acting I know, but when I go to the website, there's no button that says chat. If you go to destiny.gg and I'm streaming, <clears throat> stream online started four hours ago. I think if you just click that in the top right, it goes to the, the thing. Or you can just literally go to chat.destiny.gg. Chat.destiny.gg. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'll be in there. <laughs> okay. Have fun, buddy. Okay, <laughs> heads up, and if anybody wants to contradict me on this, feel free to do it, because a couple people have already come out and said that we banged or whatever. I have never in my life traded any kind of sex for any preferential treatment for anybody. That's never happened. And if anybody thinks I have, or if anybody wants to claim otherwise, feel free to come out and say so. That has never, ever, 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 ever happened, okay? I am always impartial. I would never sacrifice my integrity, or at least not that kind of integrity, to fuck a girl, okay? It's not true.